kitchen uh, today we celebrate Hawaii Day and it being Hawaii Day we're gonna do a kind of a Hawaii inspired dish today we're gonna actually do a lokomoko but a different style of lokomoko we're gonna do a braised short rib lokomoko so in a normal lokomoko a classic lokomoko you have your rice hamburger patty egg and brown green on top basically doing the same thing except that we're going to replace the hamburger patty with what we call braised short rib which is a slow cook short rib that we cook in a pot uh, over some period of time to get it really soft, uh, just a different kind of meat, uh, different kind of flavor. So our ingredients today, uh, we have boneless short ribs. I've already pre-seasoned them with garlic, salt, and pepper. Um, I use boneless because it's a lot more meat. Uh, you're welcome to use bone short rib, a bone-in short rib, a um, little bit more fat content. Uh, but uh, I like the meat content, so we're going with boneless. Uh, and then our braising liquid. Uh, braising liquid is basically a liquid that we're going to boil the meat in after we uh, uh, brown the meat on the outside. So we have beef stock, we have some red wine, we have some garlic, some carrots, celery, and some bay leaf. Uh, once we get everything in the pot, we'll let it simmer for at least 45 minutes to get the meat all soft and we'll be ready to roll. So the first step in this is we gotta cook our meat. So the short rib, what we wanna do is we want to sear the short rib on the outside of the meat before we put it in a braising liquid. So basically searing in all the seasonings that we season on the exterior of the meat, but it's still in the middle, we still pretty raw and finish the cooking in a braising liquid. So you got a pan uh, with some vegetable oil here. We want the pan pretty hot, so we want it on pretty much medium high or high heat. Uh, so we can just get a good browning on the outside of the meat. On the meat in the pan, again, you're just browning the outside. You can see, we got a nice little sear. Outside of the meat. Again, we're not cooking this all the way through, we just want to sear on the outside. After we get it seared up, we're just going to put it back on the plate and let it rest. And we'll work on our braising liquid. So again, this braising liquid is basically a liquid that we are going to build flavor, put the meat back into the pot, and let it cook out and soften and absorb all the different, uh, different flavors that we got coming from the, from the liquid. The braising liquid will also be used as the base for our gravy at the end of the uh, at the end of the dish for our local moko. So let's start with um, first a little oil and about a tablespoon of garlic. We're gonna just brown this garlic. Then we're gonna add our carrots and our celery. Uh, just basically two medium carrots and one stalk of celery. Put that in. Saute that up. We got that taken care of. We're gonna start working our liquid. So. Here I have two cans, or basically four cups of beef stock. And we have one cup of red wine. Uh, the wine acts flavor, but it also acts as a tenderizer for the meat, so. This is a Cabernet. That's all in. We want to add two bay leaf. What we want to do is we want to actually bring this to a boil so we can turn the heat up to about medium high. Cover it up. Okay, so now we have our braising liquid. We got it to a boil. Um, we're going to add our meat back in. Again, this braising liquid does two things. One, it tenderizes the meat, gets it really soft, and then two, all the flavors that we built into this uh, braising liquid gets infused into the meat. So it's very easy. Just take our seared short ribs, we're gonna put it right in the liquid. We'll make sure the meat's completely submerged. 
put the cover back on. Turn the heat down to about medium low because you want to cook this like a, almost like a slow cooker. Medium low. And we're going to let it go for 45 minutes to an hour. So our short ribs have been braising for a little less than an hour right now. Um, the key is you just kind of got to test it and feel it, the meat itself. Um, you're gonna feel it getting a little tender. Um, once it gets to that point where there's some give in the meat, they almost be done. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna create the gravy. So what I have right here is a basically a cornstarch slurry, a cornstarch and water. Um, if this is a simmer boil here, we just put that inside. Thickening agent for our sauce here. That incorporated in the rest of it in there. Get incorporated in, and we're gonna bring it back up to a boil. Let the juice, the gravy thicken up. We're ready to roll. All right, so our meat's done. I'll uh, we'll get on the side here. And just let it sit a little bit. We're gonna finish it off. Local mokko is not local mokko without an egg. So we're gonna fry an egg right now. Put oil in the pan. Meantime, we're gonna start cleaning. A nice braised beef here. Right on top. But not least, gravy. So we thickened up our braising liquid, cornstarch slurry to make some gravy. Put that right on top. There you have it. Braised short rib local Hope you guys enjoy.